It's that time of year again. It's finally the holidays, which means one thing. Well, it actually means more than one thing, but in this case, it means that the Unity Assets Store just launched its Black Friday deal. From November 25th, all the way up until December 1st at midnight, there will be tons of Unity Assets on sale. So how are you gonna spend your money this year? <laughs> Don't tell me you're gonna buy another medieval RPG environment. Or wait, let me guess, a collection of low poly models. No, this isn't a Steam sale. Now is not the time to spend your hard earned money on a bunch of assets that are gonna rot away in your downloads folder. And besides, 2020 is just around the corner. Don't you wanna finish something for once? Maybe use those models you bought at last year's Black Friday sale? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you five assets that will actually improve your productivity in Unity. So you can look at this year's purchases as more of an investment. Instead of throwing your money at something that looks really cool and might work in a project one day. But before we get into all that, why should you care about my opinion? Well, my name is Charles and this is Infallible Code, a channel designed to help you become a better game developer. If you'd like to learn more about Unity, programming, and game development, then feel free to check out my videos. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. All right, why don't we get into these assets? The first asset on the list is Editor Console Pro. Now, Unity's built-in console is awesome, and they've actually started to add a bunch of great features to it, but Editor Console Pro has some key features that the built-in console is simply missing. For instance, the biggest one is the search field that allows you to search all entries by text, file name, class, game object, and you can even use regular expression. On top of searching, you can even filter your logs live so that while your game's running, you can see only the logs that you wanna see. And if that wasn't enough, you can even color code your logs so that they're that much more easier to see. I don't know about you, but I rely heavily on logs to tighten up my feedback loop and speed up my development. So this is one of those assets that I add to every project because it's just that valuable. Next up is Rainbow Folders 2 because Rainbow Folders 1 was so good that it needed a sequel. Rainbow Folders 2 allows you to customize the way folders look in your project hierarchy with both colors and icons. At first, this one might seem a little silly, but imagine working on a medium to large size project with tons and tons of folders. This thing comes in clutch when you're trying to find that one particular folder that contains a material for some object that you're adding to your scene. Or better yet, when you're doing level design, it's great to be able to color code your folders so you know all the foliage, trees, and plants are in the green folders, and for instance, your buildings and roads are in the blue folder. It comes with 70 pre-made icons, but if you want, you can even add your own custom ones to your project. Again, this is just one of those assets that I add to every project, because as a project starts to grow, you need some sort of mechanism to make it easier to scale at a human level. Because I'm not a computer, and I need pretty colors in order to help me find things. Speaking of finding things, third on our list is Project Search and Replace. Now, this one's great because sometimes using your eyes to find something in the project hierarchy or the scene just isn't good enough. And you need a tool to be able to search your entire project as a whole. You can search for data inside of prefabs, scenes, components, mono behaviors, materials, and so much more. One of the cool use cases I found is that you can actually search and replace text in your scene and even fonts too. So if you find some font you wanna be able to change it project wide, you can use project search and replace to do that very easily. On top of that, this asset is extremely feature rich. You can save your searches, do sub searches, conditional searches, search while playing, advanced string searches, the list goes on and on. I highly recommend it. You definitely want to check this one out. Number four on our list is Monkey Productivity Commands. When it comes to using a tool like Unity or Blender or Photoshop or anything like that, I'm the kind of user that wants to become a power user. I wanna learn every command that I possibly can to speed up my workflow. And Monkey actually adds a whole bunch of commands to Unity that previously didn't exist. This one has a bit of a learning curve as you learn all the commands that make sense for your particular workflow, but I highly, highly recommend it. It's got more than 130 commands for designers, artists, and programmers. Whatever hat you wear in your project, there are commands for you. It has a pop-up search functionality that's very familiar to many other applications, which has a super quick fuzzy search built in, just like you'd expect from a feature like this in any other tool. On top of that, it's completely extensible, so you can even add your own custom commands. And to be honest, there's a Bunch of other features. I highly recommend checking this one out. Um, and come on, look at that monkey. That is one cute monkey. 
Number five on the list is Odin Inspector and Serializer. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried to make your own custom editor, but with Unity's built-in API, it is a freaking nightmare. Odin, on the other hand, has encapsulated a lot of the functionality you'd want out of a custom inspector into attributes, which makes it super easy to whip up, you know, buttons, color menus, or even custom editor windows that make sense for your particular project. And if you've watched my live streams or my videos, you know I'm a huge advocate for building custom tooling for your game. According to the asset page, Odin puts your Unity workflow on steroids. Now, this one has probably the largest learning curve of all of them, but it also probably has the largest ROI from your investment in learning this tool. They've got awesome documentation, and really the hardest part is learning all of the options, which is actually saying a lot because there are so many options that you can leverage for your own custom editors. So those were five Unity assets that I would recommend to improve your productivity. Don't throw your money on yet another set of models. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm as guilty as anyone. I've got tons of models sitting in my downloads folder that some of which have never even seen the light of day in my Unity editor. But these five tools that I shared with you are gonna be a great investment. I believe you truly won't regret it. And if you're thinking about picking up any of these assets, please use my affiliate link in the description and the comments below. I'll have each of these assets linked up um, and it really goes a long way in supporting this channel and the content that I create. Speaking of which, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment letting me know what you think. Share it with a friend, subscribe, hit that bell icon, you know, all the YouTube things that you need to do these days. I appreciate you watching, happy holidays, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. A special shout out to my top patrons, Trond, Thomas, NZ, Dark Rush Photography, and Breck.